Hey guys, Murloc68. Hope everybody's doing well. So the Abus Discus 2670. Um, this is a bit of an interesting one. A friend of mine came across this just sitting in the park. And he sent me a picture of it and I said, holy crap. <clears throat> Somebody really tried to get into this thing. <clears throat> Take a look at that. <clears throat> they cut it there. And eventually what they ended up doing is cutting just enough to be able to get, I'm assuming it was a chain or whatever the hell was on there, to get it out. Now, this is made in Germany. And I can tell you right now, this steel is tough. Oh, they actually went on the other side as well. So both sides they attempted. Um, so he brought it to me, no key obviously. Uh, he said, you know what, bring it to me and let me see what I wanna do with it. So I decided to attempt to grind down all the weld and I can tell you that it took me 20 minutes or more to get that done take a look at it and I did that so I could get inside and then maybe we'll even uh, pick the core so basically there's the cover Made in Germany, stamped on it. This is the 2670. I'm hoping one day to get the um, the 90 millimeter in my possession, but not easy to get here in Canada. So I might have to get some help with that one. A bloody spinner plate, and I can tell you this thing is rock solid. This is there to get your drill bit just to keep spinning and spinning and spinning so you can forget that part. Um, there might be a way, but yeah. So once you pull that off, you got your core, which um, should just fall out. Yeah, nice, beautiful, solid core. I don't know if I should attempt to pick that or not, but we'll, we'll see. And that comes apart. Man, and you can see where they cut. Take a look at that. You see that? This thing is solid. Got the shackle which they did not cut. It's marked uh, hardened steel. And that's about it for removable parts. That sits right in the bottom there, fits right in the groove. So I said this would be a perfect opportunity for science dissection. I'll show you guys basically the insides, but I said, like I said, I was impressed with the the strength of this thing to get that weld off. I thought it was just going to be a thin layer, and I can tell you it wasn't. It took a while to grind it out, and then once you grind it out, you can start to see the separation, and it came apart. Oh boy. That looks like the standard Abus core. Wonder if I have in this mess here. Just curious to see. This is the um, uh, 50 millimeter. So let's see if that Abus key is the same. And it is, 
So it's the same core as is in the 50 millimeters Avises, which I've featured a few times. Um, yeah, maybe we'll give it a shot. That's cool, turkey as we can. This is not going to be... Uh, Let's give it a shot anyway. Might not be the best angle. But we'll see what happens here. Right, we'll assume that it's a five pinner. thinking what's going to happen. Maybe we'll try that. We don't know what kind of bidding we're dealing with. I think we just went into a fold set there. That was pin number two. Just don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold this damn thing. Be able to counter rotate the way I want. I think it's pin five. This is fun. Definitely pin five.
Guess we could have made it easy and just put it in a vise, eh? Well, we don't do that. We don't do that here. just don't have the ability to counter rotate it the way it needs to be counter rotated this game Thing is sliding everywhere. Nice deep fault set again. called self-inflicted torture guys must be some maybe some nice bidding too
see how long it takes for the cramp to set in. Hmm. The core, the core seems to be pretty free. Let's see if it goes the other way. Nice ball set again. Ask for pain and you shall receive. So we're going to have some nice bidding on this thing.
Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Should I give it up? I think that this pick here could be my downfall. Said I was setting myself up for trouble. Try and pick in different situations, right? And this one is not fun at all. I do look forward to to the opening, whether it comes today or tomorrow, two hours, three hours. And it's right here, just can't rotate it. And I'm not putting it in a vise. So. Can't see. I can't see there being anything wrong with this core. It seems fairly
later. Wonder how it would have picked in the lock. I didn't even bother to attempt that because I saw it all cut up, so. Should put this in the vise, eh? Not happening. Until I see some blood coming out of the hands, I will not succumb to the pressures. Of the easy road. Dying to see what type of bidding was in here. It could be just oversetting that front pin. And this thing is just slippery as all hell. Okay, not that I was not concentrating earlier, but we're gonna go. I'm going to try to manually rotate this just slightly. I can feel it's that back pin. Question is, is that pin moving? Come on, you're there. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Tell me you finally came to your senses and read the resume and said, there's no way we're going to beat this guy. Yeah, see, this way is almost just Just a little more room in the bottom. I'm gonna rotate this core a little bit with my pick. Don't give up, kids. You just don't give up. Guys who've been watching the channel forever in a day. That's what it took. I'm gonna gut it just for the sake of gutting it. We'll see now. This uh, 
this clip off. Jim in there. Maybe. There we go. There we go. One and a half hours later, we're in. All right. There's the five pinner. Let's see how long this will take now. Looks like pin number one needed to go into the ceiling, and look at that, pin number two. Extremely low gatekeeper. Yep, take a look at that. Unbelievable. So you got Pin number one needed to go into the ceiling. Pin number two is a max cut. And then you got pin number three that needed rate to go back into the ceiling. I'll take it. This was very unconventional picking. fighting me on this one, eh? Yeah, as I suspected, it's all spools. I don't know if they might have jammed a standard pin in there somewhere. Five guys, standard and five. Let's see if we can get that spring out. Take a look at the gatekeeper in position two, guys. Look at that. Yeah, right there. And then those tiny little pins in one and three. We got her done. Patience, practice, perseverance, guys. That's the Abus Discus 2670 dissected for you. Uh, a little torture getting it picked, but we got it done just to see if all was good hopefully you guys still enjoyed that video please hit the like button leave a comment subscribe share the video and we'll see you at the next one stay well